Uh, the the whole idea is, you know, we talked about the pandemic and the pandemic, there were there was a lockdown and that caused stress. Um, and many of the workers are migrants and there was this uh, desire to go back to the village just for safety or the fear they had. So, and uh, I did talk to Arun Radha about that issue. Uh, and, you know, that'd be very interesting to see. And especially if you remember our initial conversation with uh, Saroj Jha, you know, he talked about how um, there was new forms of collaboration, uh, new ways of doing things. And also, uh, Shamli Singh was talking about how the government was doing. <clears throat> so it is more than just the collaboration uh, amongst uh, the, within the government, but there was also new forms of collaboration with NGOs and the government. So I thought that it'd be very interesting to get your perspective because I think, you know, like IDS flipped in a different mode that that also, you know, you know, the organization also flipped in a different mode. So just talk about some of the stories and changes and and uh, whether those relationships have developed in different ways, some just like a conversation discussion. And then I'll follow up with a discussion about migrants. So go ahead. Um, so basically, only uh, during pandemic, uh, we work with the migrant population, uh, like bricklink workers, and also uh, sugarcane farm workers. Uh, so this on these two occupation, a lot of migration takes place uh, in Kolhapur, uh, Sangli and Satara, three districts. So uh, in first lockdown, uh, like people were confused. Uh, they didn't know about this pandemic and all. And of course, uh, Auni has network. They we run daycare centers, uh, study classes for the migrant children, um, mobile libraries and all. So uh, when this happened, um, people were working in their farms, but the lockdown kept on going on and they were really getting scared. Now, if they get stuck and something happens to them, if they die, they won't be able to see their relatives. So it was kind of very scary thing for them. So we worked with the government, local government, how to get these people back. And the uh, uh, collector and the system here, they were very cooperative. Uh, we worked with them and then you know, we tagged like, where are their places, you know, where are their districts? And with the uh, factories, with the bricklings, um, employer, uh, the uh, owners, <clears throat> and with the government. We, uh, we were able to make arrangements for their transport back to their villages. Before that also like happened that these people were really, I mean, of course, some of the uh, owners of the bricklings and all, they said, you are not working much, we will not pay you. So, uh, in meantime, we work with the uh, government's food supply department that why don't you give them some uh, uh, emergency food kits and also the rice and wheat, you know, as you give in their uh, native places uh, shops uh, as a ration. So government immediately agreed. And as uh, some of the participants here said that there was very constructive and good attitude of the government employee many of the time to uh, when we approached them they immediately there was willingness to help you know and uh, good coordination nobody really made any obstacle and uh, everything went on very well uh, during the first uh, lockdown uh, basically like when we were working and we were able to get all these people safe back to their native places so that was a big achievement uh, and uh, it was a very good uh, coordination in between us and the uh, government. Then uh, secondly, we had uh, 
uh, when we were working with my speakers in first lockdown, it was so strict, so they could not move at all of their houses. So it, that lockdown lasted for like twenty five to thirty days in our district uh, state because it was uh, the Maharashtra and Kolhapur had a very high population of uh, uh, COVID positive patients. So uh, like the way speakers were not allowed to go at all out, but still early in the morning at four o'clock onward, they would work and uh, do their earnings. And in that case, like their survival had become an issue because the uh, shops were closed. They could not sell whatever they had collected earlier also. So um, there also with the way speaker leaders, uh, we approached the government and government started thinking that, yes, those who don't have ration cards, uh, those who don't have Aadhaar cards, to them also we will supply the uh, uh, food grains. And there also it went smooth. And, uh, but it, initially it happened just only for one and a half months, government started supporting. Meantime, with the support of ideas, other NGOs, we started uh, matching the grant and supporting different way speakers. Uh, government was certainly positive, but there was so much pressure on government also, you know, to, uh, from different uh, groups, you know, that, um, what do you call, um, commercial sex workers, the, uh, um, the Marathi movie actors, they also wanted government support. So government could not support only the way speakers. So there were uh, so many informal sector people were approaching government. So during second lockdown and third lockdown, there was uh, the, there was a big scarcity, you know. And way speakers they kept on phoning us that uh, we really don't have anything to eat, and whatever we had it's over, and we really need support. So that time also, and the uh, year one thing happened that second wave was so horrible that in second wave, uh, so many uh, like government officers were shut down. Um, the, uh, they, they made staff like only uh, 50 to 25% attendance of the government officers. So it was very difficult for us to approach government officers and reach to these officers for their uh, demanding various things. So we had very uh, different approach. We, uh, uh, decided to have a, a SMS marathon. SMS marathon we will run right from the collector till the um, uh, chief minister. So uh, we found out the numbers of all these uh, officers who can be supportive in this manner. Uh, and then we tested, uh, uh, formed the um, message and at a time, all the way speaker from three districts, like 3,200 way speaker from three districts, sent SMS to chief minister, to uh, collector. Same message was sent to all of them. So, like, they were wondering that, oh, why so many messages are coming? And we got phone call from the chief minister's office and, uh, like, uh, collector office and from various offices that, oh, we are getting all these SMS. Many women are SMSing us, and yes, we are going to do something for you all. So uh, we changed the form of our work. Even though there was lockdown, we were not able to approach them. So <coughs> we changed our approach. So in this manner, uh, immediately within seven, eight days, uh, government started supplying all these food grains, and they added few more material in that. They added like dal, sugar, uh, chili powder and oil and specifically for waste speakers all this was uh, given because we made a big issue that these waste speakers uh, livelihood is on collecting waste now they have nothing they cannot move out and also uh, they cannot sell all this so uh, government was really it was it went on so well that till end month of october end they were getting all these supplies from government as a supplementary help so all this worked out very well uh, with the uh, uh, government. Uh, normally, our organization is a right-based organization. We uh, just don't, don't do the charity, but we uh, work with uh, to develop the system, uh, sensitization, uh, strengthening of the system. Uh, so uh, 
we keep on changing our methodology of work and uh, uh, like uh, approach while we work with the government one very important thing happened here like uh, the way speakers who were from villages uh, and they come in urban areas to pick up the waste uh, we worked with the uh, local minister here to provide them employment uh, through the uh, manarega scheme that is mahatma mahatma gandhi uh, right to work um, that it was earlier employment guarantee scheme that is 100 day employment is guaranteed to the uh, any worker who wants the work from the village so <clears throat> they around 415 way speakers were registered in their different villages and the uh, local village council gave them work uh, during this pandemic so what works of cleaning and uh, maintaining the gardens uh, cleaning different areas segregating the work so all this was done with the help of uh, this employment guarantee scheme at the village level so uh, we been only depend on one resources but we work with the several uh, departments of the government uh, for the vaccination because in first stage the way speakers were totally neglected uh, on vaccination of course many did not want to take they were not aware we created awareness but then we had to work with the local municipality that way speakers should be given uh, vaccination at the front line workers because they keep on moving the uh, to the places to places and then some of the municipalities they agreed and those who were the leaders uh, those who were mo- moving to different places they were given vaccination so avni had all approach uh, with the local municipality district uh, administrative uh, administrative department uh, to uh, collaborate discuss collaborate and go ahead uh, to uh, for the well being of these way speakers and migrant workers so we i had very wonderful experiences uh, in this manner even whatever we needed we approached and we got so there was really not much hesitation from uh, government department normally we don't get very good response we have to keep on doing follow up and uh, asking one thing many times you know they don't entertain us but in this pandemic manner with our continuous support uh, follow up government was pretty positive to uh, help uh, the way speakers and also migrant workers so things went on very well i am very proud to share the government departments worked very well here we also run some shelters for the children um, and women those who are homeless and uh, during the pandemic we have to start one more shelter uh those who were sleeping on the road and uh, and in lockdown they could not go back to their houses so one shelter with 157 people uh, men and women uh, that also was supported by government on food and uh, uh, their uh, infrastructure wise so uh, whatever emergency services we provided during pandemic uh, till the vaccination uh, the government played a very important and positive role in this manner okay that's what i wanted to say but 